welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Ronald Acuna Jr. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. So almost ready to get underway, and on the hill, A.J. smith Shopper. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So taking the mound, this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. All right, ready to go here. Up now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. First pitch, 720. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. He's really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. The next offering misses, and the count wanted two. It's a good take. There's a line drive to left field. And he dropped it around first, digging for two. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. You know, line drives are tough because they can sink on you. They can even have some ride and go over your head if you take a false step in. Sometimes they can knuckle. So I'm not sure if that was the problem right there. Could have been the lights as well. Sometimes you see the ball all the way until the very last second. It disappears and it gets real scary. Here's Lane Thomas. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball. No strike. Kick and deals. Misses ball off two. the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I yeah. say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Righty delivers, and yeah, that's too One high. Off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. Just no, off the, the outside part of the plate. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality ah. strike. 3-2 now. And Good boy, job. that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a 3-2. Bows it back with two strikes. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Tapped up the first base side, and he handles it himself for the out. 
That is good. The right field. Joey Meneses. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals. Joey Meneses. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. That one inside, two balls, no strikes to count. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. That one ripped. Rosario makes the catch, and that'll do it. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. Back at Truist Park. And on the hill, the lefty, Patrick Corbin. What do you have on him, Chris? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's a big power threat. Ronald Acuna Jr. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football. You feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And first offering is fouled off. Next one, one in the dirt. So, Boone, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves' base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. That's in there. Two and two now. And that skips in the dirt. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. That is second. The second baseman, Ozzie. Here is Ozzie always up to hit. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. In there, and it's 0-1. Pitch. Acuna runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw there. Safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Only two now. Albies checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up. And now the lefty. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Fly ball to right. Meneses has a beat on it. Squeezes it. Runner tagging for third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. That is third. The third baseman. Here's Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Come on, big opportunity, guys. 
And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Good eye right there. One away with a runner at third. That misses, and it's 3-0. And here it comes. And now three and one. Oh, one <laughs> three and one. Hack right there. Say, man, I'm going to go for it. And that's ball four. four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Batting four. The first baseman. One away, oh. runners at first and third. Oh, Matt Olson good. up to the plate. Another solid power season. In there for strike one. Come on, get that, Jimmy. Two on, one out. That's Olsen checks his swing, appeal to third, and yes, he offered at it. Acuna on third, Riley over at first with one away. Next one, offering two. is down low. Let's keep it going. And he deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a one-two. And that Two one two. almost got him. You know, we used to say, if you're scared, get a dog. Go the fastball, man. If you're scared, get a dog, man. Just, just get a dog. Two-two on the way. Hard ground ball, base nine. And the Braves score first. It's one zip. And the throws offline, safe at third. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Pitch no. misses inside. Ball one. I mean, Whoa. he's pitching right now like a guy who doesn't have more than a 93 mile per hour fastball at best. Runners are at the corners, one away. All right, let's go. That misses the zone, two and oh. Little base head here, that's all. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first oh, and third. And there's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Kicks and fires. Misses ball. off the play. And that's ball three. First and third, one down. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. So the bases are loaded here. One man gone. Here's Eddie Rosario. That one is absolutely belted on its way. Out of here. Grand slam. His 22nd homer of the year, a four spot on the board. It's five zip.
Wow, what a huge at bat with the bases loaded to be able to pump through with the swing like that. You know he was wishing it to stay fair. He gets to touch them all, and a grand slam could be huge in this ball game. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate on the corner for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, it's not the inning he was planning on to begin this start. Watch, you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. And it's 1-1. One one one. One. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Still only one out here in the inning. The punch out there, two down. Got again. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. First offering and it just misses. to right and that one's gonna leave the park out of here home run he sends it out of here his 18th home run of the season and they add on it's six nothing So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball and get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Patrick Corbin done for the night, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Number 53 will take over here. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Here's Orlando Arcia. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs. Pitch misses there. Ball two. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Robert Garcia looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Next offering misses. And now 3 0. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. There's a strike. And now 3 and 1. And a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. The right fielder, number 13. Ronald so the lineup flips Acuna. over. And here Junior. is Ronald Acuna Jr. Singled and scored his first time. Acuna punches one foul right side. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this oh. at bat to hit. Next one misses, and the count is one and two. Squirts away a little bit. Ruiz collects, fires to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Now it's the DH, Luis Garcia. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. The wind of the pitch. Just off the outside edge. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. That one in for a strike, two and two. Way high. Okay. Sets him down looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Dom Smith stands in. That's in there and that's strike one. One down, base is empty. Ball. That one two misses. Balls. Now two balls and a strike. Good Inside. eye in that spot. The three one. Ah. And now it's filled up. Back to back fastballs in. Yeah. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three two now. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The kick, the 3 2. This one popped up, right side. Brings it in. That's out number two. That is tough. The second baseman. And now up for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. No. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. and oh. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier what? position. And that's what One he ball. does. One strike. Ball to strike, the pitch ground ball right side he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it three up three down for Washington still up against a six nothing deficit back here in Atlanta bottom half of inning number two Ozzy Albies up to the plate the hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And he'll one. And that one hammered. 
Bangs off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. The walk and a run scored his first time. That's off the mark, and it's one to know. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big-time power. Albies stands at second with no outs. Next offering upstairs. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have... And he can't come up with it. Hard to tell exactly what went wrong right there. That was a fairly routine ground ball, but he just couldn't get it to stick in the glove. Might have taken his eye off it a little early, but regardless, you're going to have to work around that error. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First pitch, oh, just misses. Oh, misses inside. Ball. Two balls, no strikes. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The next ball. offering misses, and that's ball three. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Swing and a pop-up. The infield fly, the infield fly rule call. Now back, the designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. Two on with one out, Marcel Ozuna. Next up for the Braves. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter side, nice job of laying off that pitch. That one finds the zone. And the count one, one and one. And the pitch. In the air on the infield, infield and the infield fly, fly is go. called. And the infield fly is called. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. He had a grand slam his first time up. That one's in there, 0 and 1. No ball, one strike. Then that yep. drops in for a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. 0 and 2 now. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The 0 2. That one, one missing two. inside. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Mm 
Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Ball. Into center. Number 30. Settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Two left for Atlanta. They lead it, though, 6 zip. Welcome back, and here is Jake Alou. The left fielder, Jake Alou. The wind and the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next offering is in for a strike. Looking for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. The center fielder, Jacob Young. Next to hit for the Nats, number 30. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. That's towards center. Harris has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. The batter, number five. So the Nets lineup turns over. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. He's 0 for 1. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. There's a strike. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make One moves ball. on the base pass. The wide to kick the pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. And that lands in no man's land. A foul ball. The pitch. Short hop liner. Handled it short. Tosses across the first. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for Washington. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Yohan Adon. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Dardo. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. Dardo. The pitch. That one fouled off. One note on Travis Darno: he was drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies in the first round. Twice he was traded for Cy Young Award winners. Roy Halladay, as he moved from the Phillies to the Jays, and then on from the Jays to the Mets for R.A. Dickey. And that's ball. downstairs and outside. One ball, two strikes. In the air, left field. Alou settles under this one. One down. Now that the center fielder. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Harris. He's already homered in this one.
This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Orlando. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Orlando. And now Orlando Arcia. Swings and misses, and it's 0-1. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for Yo. later in this at-bat? 1-1. One, one. In the air, out towards left center. Alou brings it in with a nice running grab. Down in order go the Braves. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Back at Truist Park, here's a speed threat, Lane Thomas. Lane Thomas. Smith Schauber back to work. That one drifts inside. That's a little bit low. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Just missed. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Ruiz at the plate now. That's ball one. Swing and a miss. One one That's strike. strike one. That's in there. The Nets hitless so far in the game. And now the count is even. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game next to Put. hit Joey Manessis next pitch one. misses and the count even one, one and one, one. That one the other way, and there's a hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. And now it's Luis Garcia. Check swing, went around. 4-1. And the righty deals. Base hit and a run in to score. 
and they don't push it. Runner holds it third. Base is loaded now with still nobody out. With the bases juiced, he refused to get Paul happy. He stayed within himself, drove the ball to center field. That'll get across a run. Now it's Dominic Smith. 0 for 1 so far. And that one in the air center field. Harris pulls it down. Runner tags from third. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here's the second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. In the air, out towards right center. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And there's two down. Now that the left fielder, Jake Alou. So first and second with two outs. Jake Alou will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Manessas at second. Garcia on at first with two down. And a 2 1 on the way. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Two on, two outs. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Goes down looking. They put two on the board on three hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We're midway in the fourth. Braves six and the Nationals two. Back here at the ballpark and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Great speed and great power. A great athlete quite simply. The right hander back to work. And that one a little bit high. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand whether it's a bat whether it's a golf club whether it's a basketball. He can do it and get it done. And a oh, rare talent. Oh, so much fun to watch. And that's through there for a strike. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Got him swinging. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Right side. Smith takes Out. it to the bag. Already two gone now here in the home four. So up next, Austin Riley. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, oh. the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next oh. pitch is downstairs. A little bit oh. low. Matt Olson up next. Come on, 
in for a strike. Now three and one. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that count, that's the pitch you want. The right hander the gives up Take the two base. out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very now aggressive back. secondary the lead. So ball base. down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Olsen up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Now, Marcelo Zuna. And that's in there for strike one. Righty to the plate. Bounced up the middle. And that one handled. Throws to first. Out with room to spare. And that's the inning. No runs. A hit. Two left. On to the top of the fifth we go. Braves six and the Nationals two. And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, number 47. pitch and that's outside. outside you know these nationals simply put are producing a lot of quality swings they've hit seven line drives already and even though some of them have been for outs there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact that's almost always going to lead to positive results next Ball, pitch throw. misses inside and the count you is two and oh Swing and a ball popped up, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. The batter, number five, shortstop, C.J. Abrams. So digging in, C.J. Abrams. In there, and it's 0-1. Sliced hard, but foul. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Misses. Oh. Yeah, the count one and two. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. The one two. Now a pop up on the infield. Albies makes the catch, and there's two away. Now that third base, Lane Thomas. Two outs, base is empty. Up now for Washington, Lane Thomas. That one ball, misses, go. and that's ball one. And there's a ball. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Two and one now. On the ground to the left. And the right-hander deals. 
And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three two now. That smash towards center. Harris makes the catch. And that is that. And the Nationals gone in order. They still trail it here. It's six to two. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. The pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Left hand hitter waits. Two one. There's a strike. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's a full count. Right-handed reliever. Rosario tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Swung on, belted. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, I didn't think he got it off the bat, but the win made it a lot more interesting than expected. Nice job of the center fielder. Puts it all the way back to the warning track. Man. Man at first, Michael Harris. Next up for the Braves. He's already homered here in this one. First offering is fouled off. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Adone checks the runner. Let's get it going, Briggs. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Can't get there. Base hit. The throw to third. Lead runner holds it third, so two runners in scored position and just one out. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Second and third, one gone. Orlando Arcia, next up for the Braves. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One down, runners at second and third. Next pitch oh. is inside. Now 2-0. Oh. At the belt and fires. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Abrams under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Out. Number two. That was a good right hard here. fastball with some nice ride Run. up in the zone right there. there. Hitter you looked here. like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Acuna stands in now and watches strike one. Two outs, two in scoring position. Back to the mound. Over to Smith. And Acuna retired. Third out. Two left for Atlanta. They lead it 6-2. to two.
a new arm into the game, the righty, Jackson Stevens. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Number 53, Jackson Stevens. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. One for two. Hebert Ruiz. The wind of the pitch. Stevens, in his third season, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a slider, and he works in a changeup. The 0-1. And there's the strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And he'll two. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. No, definitely a breakdown now in his mechanics on right that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Manessis now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Now the 01. No. Come on, Bridge. Got the back going too soon in strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And that one hit to first. Wow. Ruiz aboard here at first with nobody out. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And here's the DH for Washington. Luis Garcia. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two runners in scoring position. Nobody out. Out to short, Arcia. That's out number one, and a run comes in to score. Up next to Washington, the first baseman, Dominic Smith. And now up for Washington, Dominic Smith. First offering misses the mark. Runner at second here, one gone. Get the strike out. Right hander kicks deals towards first, and that's Double. just foul. One, two now. The other way. Throws across the diamond. Got the out. The batter number 14. Second baseman. Ildemaro Vargas. So two down now. And here is Ildemaro Vargas. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 
0 1. I think he was sitting off speed there. On the ground. Third out, and that ends the frame. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. 2 3 4 due up in the home half of the sixth. Braves six, and the Nationals three. Hunter Harvey taking over on the mound. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high three. rate this year. Now Typically at least four. one in inning, so he'll Number be tough to get three. to. Hunter Harvey. Digging in, Ozzy Albies. One for three. The second baseman. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzy Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a Silver Slugger. And he's won multiple Silver Sluggers now. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Albies in his sixth season, 26 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Bullpen activity starting up now. Robert Garcia, the left-hander, up and throwing. The 0 2. In the dirt. Over to first. Lead off man retired in the sixth. Man, it's so difficult as a hitter to get on the plane with that pitch. It's breaking down and in, and you've got to find a way to match the plane. And if it's nasty like that one, bite at the end. Most times you're swinging over the top and walking back to the dugout. Austin Riley digs in now. Up the middle. Over to Smith. Two away. Up next for Atlanta. The first baseman. Matt. Two outs. Base is empty. Here is Matt Olson. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Popped up. Makes the grab, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Seventh inning coming up. Braves six, and the Nationals three. Into the game now, the southpaw Brad Hand. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Up now for Washington, Jake Alou, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The Nationals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid-off man. I need a good at-bat out of him right here. And the pitch. That one outside. Ball. And that's ball one. One ball. No strikes. Good ball eye right go. there. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. Oof. That one went straight back and got her up right in the mask. Let's hope he's okay. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Here's a 2 2. And that misses okay. off the outside edge. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Number 30 digging in for the Nationals. One 
Oh, no. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Alou on at first, nobody out. Down the line, it's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. Slider oh misses outside. Good speed on the One base ball. pass. No he turn. handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Runners on the corners, no outs. Next pitch oh, is outside. Right. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter ah. to be in. There's a strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. The 2-1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. No outs. Runners at first and third. No Check That's swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Rosario makes the play. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's now a two-run game. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Kirby Yates on a pitch out of the pen here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Next to hit for the Nats, Lane Thomas. Get the double play. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seven. Number 47. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. The outfield playing into pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And a pitch. Ripped to short. Abrams tosses the first. And a quick out, number one. Now batting, the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. Let's go, one more time, baby. Out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Alou going back. Back some more. That one hops against the fence. Rosario rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score. It's 7-4. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his back path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. One out, runner at second. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. And the first Got pitch misses for ball one. one -oh. One out and a runner at second. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Travis Darno coming around third. The throws offline. He's safe. And it's 8 4. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Man at first with one gone. Now it's going to be Orlando Arcia. Watch the DP. First pitch, Bono. not close. Come on, Let's go. In there at the knees for a strike. Harris stands at first with one out. Look out! And it hit him. I don't care what some players might say. Nobody likes getting hit by a pitch unless you're in an 0-2 count and there's a knuckleball right out there on the mound. Jordan Weems gets the call from the pen. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Number 51, Jordan Weems. Here's Acuna now. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And oh. ball one to the right fielder. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And here it comes. No, Just missed. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. Let's get it in. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Didn't recognize off speed, thought it was fastball, a little bit out in front. Next offering upstairs. Two on, one out, and he Ball walked four. him. Take your base. Yeah. Ozzie Albies next up for the Braves. First pitch Ball. doesn't find the zone. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Base is loaded. One away.
Grounded to third. Could be two. Thomas over to second. On to Smith. Two. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Braves eight and the Nationals four. A.J. Minter comes on now. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And now the switch hitting catcher, Hebert Ruiz. The catcher. Well, both Hebert. sides equally as strong. Ruiz. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And he deals. Pitch is in for a strike. Going one. Movement in the bullpen. Number 51. It appears to be getting loose. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Okay. And it's 0 and 2. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. That's outside. Four. And the count is one, one and more. one. One strike. Ground ball left side. And it stays fair. Clearly seeing the ball the very well in this one. Just Designated one of those seeing high base hits Blue through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. First oh. offering misses the mark. That one the other way. Over to Albies. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Braves eight and the Nationals four. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Andres Machado. And he's Number had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. And now, Austin Riley. For the Braves, the third baseman, Austin The pitch. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Righty to the plate. And it's fouled away. Kicks and deals. Ball one, one there. Two. And now two and two. On the ground, out to short. To first, and that's one away. 
as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now back, first baseman. Matt. And now Matt Olson up to hit. In there for strike one. Action in the pen down there. Thaddeus Ward looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. The next oh. pitch misses, and now it's even one, one and one. Swing, and he breaks his back. Now the throw to first on the run. And Olsen is set down. Well, as a hitter, it can be kind of tough. You get a hard-throwing reliever that comes in the ball game. You don't know exactly what his pitches are doing. And that clearly blew him up on the hand, sawed off that bat. Tell you what, the bat companies, they're pretty happy when guys like this come in out of the bullpen. And now, Marcelo Zuna clips the corner. That's strike one. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. And the Braves go down quietly, but they still lead it by a count of 8-4. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, number 51. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Dominic Smith digging in for the Nationals. The first baseman, Dominic Smith. the pitch bounding ball here rolls foul All right, that one ball. off the mark one and one one ball one strike and now the count one, one and two, two after the swing and the miss wow no fair right there I mean that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Okay. Just going to have to tip your cap on that pick. Come back into the mound. On to first. Now one gone in the ninth. The batter number 14, second baseman. And now it's the switch hitting Vargas. second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And ball no, one. Too low. Hit in the air, right field. Acuna there. Calls it in, and there's two away. So they're down to their final out. And now up for Washington, Jake Alou as the Nationals are down to their final out. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Just one. missed. Next offering misses, and it's two and one.
Righty delivers. Good eye right there. And now one strike away. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Got him looking. And that'll do it. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.